Where, oh, where has my pal Roadhog gone? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? With Hasbro seemingly putting its Overwatch line on hiatus, Junkrat looks awfully lonely on my shelf. You can't have Junkrat without Roadhog, so that's where I come in. First thing you need to do when making a figure is finding a base. I looked far and wide for fat figures and came up with pretty much nothing but Marvel Legends Blob, who is both the wrong shape and too expensive. Then I just happened to have the anniversary Juggernaut figure that came with Colossus lying around and I thought the general beefiness of the arms looked good, so with a metric ton of plastic wrap, hot glue and epoxy sculpt, I created a stomach for him. I also considerably shortened his legs since Roadhog has quite stubby legs in comparison to his body. For all the gear, I was really lucky. There is a knockoff statue of Hog roughly in the right scale, so I bought one of those and I just stripped off all the usable parts and modified them to fit onto the Juggernaut body. The head is from a resculpted official backpack hanger of Hog because I wanted the head to at least be official. I did swap out the breathing bits though, and I, uh, like I said, I re-sculpted some parts. When it came to the pants, I wanted to make him aesthetically pleasing, and the chopped up legs would not work. Not to mention, they look too skinny, so I found a Mario doll, stole the overalls from him, and then put them on. I was never really satisfied with them though, because they had this annoying felt texture like a tennis ball, and it bugged me that the camo pattern was missing, so I bought some fabric online, cut out a pattern, and had my mom sew it together. She's an absolute legend, and the pants turned out fantastic. With everything in terms of parts being finished, there was still Hog's trademark belly tattoo missing, and it was probably the part that I was dreading the most. I knew I wouldn't be able to paint it all to a degree where I was truly satisfied with it, so I got the idea to use a decal. Unfortunately, the techniques I found online to put a large decal over big uneven surfaces didn't work because all I have is a normal ink printer and the decal sheets I bought were too thick to really bend anyway. I ended up cutting out sections of the tattoo and then finishing off the flame and pig details with paint. I'm super happy with the result. As for articulation, he's still not overly articulated, but it works for Hog, whose main job is to look intimidating. I'm quite proud of attaching his shoulder pad to a piece of cloth so I would retain the shoulder movement while keeping everything looking in place. Roadhog rides again. I'm gonna make you squeal. So there we have it! As a tank main, Hog is probably my second favourite tank tied with Sigma and behind Reinhardt, so this custom means a lot to me. I hope you enjoy the video! I'm a one-man apocalypse. Roadhog time. <laughs> now that's more like it! Violence is usually the answer. <laughs> yeah! No job too big, no score too small. Hook, line, and sinker. I'm a prime specimen. Hog power! <laughs> Idiot. Try and stay out of trouble for once. I'll hook him! And I'll cook him! The game's all here. Ah. <sighs> 